Hi, welcome back. Okay, so in today's lesson, we will learn how to make a game. The game that I'll be learning to make, we're gonna learn to make today is called the Atari Breakout. The Atari Breakout is where you have a pedal and a ball. The ball will bounce off the pedal and hit the objects on the top. Your objective is to clear all the objects on the top to win the game. Okay, now that we know what we want to do, we're gonna start to make the game. This would be not this won't be one video, but it'll be a series of videos teaching you all the little little steps that we need to complete a game. My style of teaching is different from everybody else. I like to start with a goal. Our goal is to make a breakout game. And we will break our lessons into multiple chunks of shorter videos where you can learn all the different concepts, programming concepts you will need to make your game. Okay, let's start. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make a ball and the ball will be programmed to move around the screen bouncing off the wall okay that's our first objective and that will be the objective of this video all right let's start now first let's uh remove this cat sprite okay next we would like to add a sprite you can just click on the the logo here choose sprite okay once it's loaded we're just going to select this ball over here okay click on the ball and as you notice, the ball sprite has already appeared on the screen. Okay. All right. So first things we're going to do, we're going to select under events when the green flag is clicked. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to scroll down to control. Okay. Under control, we're going to drag out the forever block. Okay. And the last block we're going to insert is the move block. We're going to drag from here the move 10 steps okay what this program will do is it's very simple it will just let the ball move currently is facing three o'clock the ball will move 10 steps towards three o'clock direction or the right direction and the forever loop means it's going to loop forever okay let's give it a go first all right so the ball has hit the wall and it has stopped okay let me just drag the ball back and show you again okay uh, before we continue we would like to make the ball move at a slower pace let's just set this move steps to five instead of ten let me drag the ball back okay it's moving at a slower pace all right okay it's hit the wall and it has not bounced okay that is a special button that we can set to let the i mean a special code that we can use to let the ball bounce okay it's called the if on edge i'm sorry let me scroll up higher let's throw this away if on edge bounce okay edge is the corner or the sides of your display area okay so if we put this in if on edge bounce let me just do that start again you can see the ball will bounce left and right left and right okay let's just change the direction to any random direction and you can see the ball bounce continuously okay all right so this is the very simple code to make your code or to make the ball bounce all right before we stop for this short lesson I would like to also teach you how to change the size of the ball. The ball is a bit on the large size. We can use a function here uh, under looks. Okay. Under looks, if you scroll down a little bit, there is a set size button. This doesn't have to be in the forever loop. Just after you click start, it can be just after the click start, you will set the size first and then you will do the forever loop. Okay, let's just try to set the ball to maybe half the size of 50%. Okay, stop and let's just give it a go. All right, the ball is smaller now and uh, it's bouncing. Okay, all right, that's all for this clip. Join me in the next clip where we will learn how to use and control the pedal. Alright, see you guys.